How can you describe Dr. Kim in a few words? She is one of a kind, a true original, not a copy of anyone else. She's been called Wonder Woman, a phoenix rising from the ashes, a force of nature, hope of the country of Korea, a little giant, living legend, messenger of hope, just to name a few. She's kinda hip, kinda hot, and continuously inspires people to improve their lives through her motto, He can do, she can do, why not me? How did Dr. Kim get to where she is today? From being beaten and abused as a child merely for being a girl? From being abandoned during the Korean War? And ridiculed and more abused because of her desire to train in the martial arts? From training under a special monk while still experiencing rejection from her family and village, she was the first woman to ever earn the rank of master and grandmaster in the Korean martial arts. On the advice of her master, she came to the USA in 1969 and faced more prejudice and discrimination. Not knowing any English, she was able to get a job cleaning toilets at Howard & Johnson's motel and pumping gas on the weekends. Still, after vandals kept trashing her school and burning it down, she was penniless and devastated. She took her Bible and went up the mountains. After two weeks of fasting and intense prayers, she had a vision, and her new direction was clear. Start a high-tech computer company. When she asked some of her students to join her in starting a high-tech company, they laughed at her and thought she had gone crazy. Soon after, Lighthouse Worldwide Solutions was born. After an initial failure and losing almost everything again, and having to eat bone soup because she couldn't afford anything else, she realized that rural Vermont was simply not ready yet for her innovative ideas and in 1985 moved to Silicon Valley, which was already a bustling hub of high-tech activity. Within a short period of time, Dr. Kim's new martial arts school became one of the largest in California, and she helped thousands of people achieve their dreams, including businessmen, Olympic athletes such as Gotemura of the Japanese ski team, and Darren Lewis of the San Francisco Giants, people from all walks of life. Dr. Kim always emphasizes that God is the root of all her success. She knows that God is her CEO and that she owes everything to Him. She also acknowledges that her martial arts training gave her the solid foundation to everything she does in her life. She explains that it is not just a sport, not just punching and kicking, but a way of life. She has achieved the highest honors in the martial arts, she often demonstrates how we can overcome physical limitations by gaining complete control over our mind and spirit. This ability to overcome limitations has enabled her to become a business giant, starting with creating the first Windows-based clean room monitoring system to manufacturing particle measuring instruments. Lighthouse is now a leader in the clean room monitoring industry, especially in pharmaceutical industry, and constantly remains on the cutting edge of technology. Under her leadership, Lighthouse received the Best Place to Work Award in Silicon Valley for two years in a row and received the top award from the California Chamber of Commerce for being the most innovative company during the economic downturn. Lighthouse continues to create leading-edge technology and receives awards for them on a regular basis. In addition to business awards, Dr. Kim has received countless awards and recognitions, including the Susan B. Anthony Award, Woman of the Year from the California State Legislature, Woman of Achievement, and many more. Sharing her vast knowledge and wisdom through writing books, Dr. Kim's books have been translated into more than 15 languages. Her books and life story are taught as part of the curriculum in South Korean schools, and her books kept in the Korean libraries to inspire young people to strive for success in their own lives. As a motivational speaker, Dr. Kim has spoken to hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. 
and shared her inspiring message. But you have to know what you want to do. You don't want to have to become a driver in your life. You give up right away. Setting a goal. You have to move forward. She has appeared on many TV programs, such as CNN, ABC, NBC. She has also been on TV in many countries to motivate and inspire the millions of viewers around the world. Dr. Kim has her own TV talk show, where she interviews people with inspiring and powerful stories. Dr. Kim is a wonderful philanthropist who freely gives to many causes, such as SOS Kinderdorf, homeless shelters, orphanages, Make-A-Wish Foundation, Save the Children, Redemption Ridge, and many, many others an icon of success. She is today known as hope of the entire country of Korea. She can do, she can do, why not me? And the ultimate peacemaker, working tirelessly on achieving peaceful reunification of the two Koreas. And wherever she goes, she is eagerly welcomed with passion and love. Like the lotus flower, she rose above the murky water. The difficult challenges and impossible obstacles in her life that tried to stop her at every turn. If someone says it is impossible, she will demonstrate that it is possible. Wherever she goes, whatever she does, she always shouts out her personal motto. He can do it! She 